Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, I was working on a 2014 F450 equipped with a 6.7 power stroke and it threw an ABS light with my fleet driver. So put it out of service. I worked on it earlier today and I'm gonna show you what we found and what I had to do to fix it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's the 2014 F450 6.7 Power Stroke. It was having some codes in it for the ABS, and the codes that I got from it was a C1145, which is the front right wheel speed sensor input circuit fault, and then a C1234, which is the front right wheel speed sensor input signal lost. So I'm gonna show you how that sets up inside there, and then the wheel speed sensor is connected to that hub. I ended up replacing the hub. Um, pretty easy to do. You got to take the brakes off and all that good jazz. See, new studs, new nuts. Okay, the sensor comes up right here. Goes across. There's a eight millimeter bolt right here. Eight millimeter bolt. Eight millimeter bolt runs across the frame rail and then comes up and then it connects right there right there there's a connector right there and so the the actual hub itself wasn't bad the sensor cable was bad and i'll show that over here to you we'll talk about that and then we'll i'll show you what could have caused it for that sensor to be bad because there's if you look uh, well this is solid piece the hub sits inside there those four studs now there's a backing plate right there so i'll show you what was going on with that this is the hub assembly it was on the right front and when you buy one of these it comes with new studs and new nuts um it you saw where I replaced the nuts, put new studs in it. I didn't film taking it apart because I was just so busy. Um, so this bolts through, if it's a four wheel drive, the axle would go through here. Obviously this is a two wheel drive, dual rear wheel. Um, four bolts that hold it in. You flip it over and look at it this way. There's actually another hub that goes onto this, which holds the, the rotor sticks to this. And there's another hub that goes onto that. The hub that goes onto that is actually the wheel studs. That's what holds the wheel on, okay? And you saw, there's the cable. Let me turn this around. So this would be like you're looking down. Actually, you know what? I'll just turn it the way it would be if you were. That would be like if you're looking at the passenger front tire with the brake, brake rotor off of it, brake caliper off of it. This cable runs up, goes up behind a backing plate like you saw runs across, goes across and plugs up right behind the mudguard. Well, it was throwing that code for signal lost and circuit code. And if you look really close, it's broken. So what was happening, if you look, you got rub marks right here. It rubbed through completely right here. And that's just the paint or whatever that they put on it. But the backing plate, this was just rubbing on the backing plate because it goes to right there. This actually bolts to the knuckle. So it sits just like that. And yeah, and if you look at it, about time for a new one anyway. This one doesn't sound all that great. This is the hub assembly number, Delta Charlie 3 Zebra 1104 Charlie. This is through the, the 11 through 16 model. And it does come in the box with the bolts and a new O-ring. Um, but I actually got one right here. That's the O-ring that comes in the box. That is, it's folded over. I actually had another O-ring. That's the O-ring that goes right there. That guy. And that's the part number. If you want to buy it separate. But you see, it's just folded over in the bag. 
And then the bolts and the nuts. I think I, I think I had some extra ones sitting over here. Yeah. There's the bolts. These are some extra ones that I had. Part number five, Charlie three zebra one one zero seven Bravo Alpha. And the notes are around here somewhere. But everything got replaced. That's what was wrong with that bad boy. Now you can replace just the sensor. Uh, that's a five millimeter hex. You still got to take the brake rotor off, which means you got to take the hub off that comes off of here. And then you get a five millimeter, take that Allen out, pull that out, undo all that. But this thing's got 300 something thousand miles on it, the original one. And so I figured if I'm going that far, I'm not just going to replace the sensor. I'm going to replace the whole hub, seeing as how I have them here in stock. So that is what was wrong. That's why I was getting the circuit code for the ABS. It just sliced the wire. Can't communicate with the ABS module or anything else on the truck. So new hubby gets. Comes with a sensor, comes with bolts, comes with the O-ring, comes with nuts. All you got to do is take the brakes off, slap that bad boy in there. With that being said, I love you guys. Thank you for sticking around, watching the video, and I will see you on the next one.